Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, I posted this same drawing on Tuesday, but it was a sped up version, um, which made the video really fast because this this drawing took about two and a half hours, I think. So now I'm going to slow it down a bit and explain to you how I drew it. So I am of course starting out with the outlines and I'm using a reference photo so I am copying the shapes of my reference photo. Um, make sure your sketch is correct to start with because you can shade your drawing realistically if your sketch isn't uh, correct to begin with. So I'm trying to get the shapes right and to get the iris round and get everything in there. When shading the pupil I'm not going straight in with uh, black. I'm first coloring it in with a shade of grey and check um, if the shape is right, if it's round and if I'm happy with how it looks I go in with black and fill it in entirely but I am leaving open the, the highlights because they have to be completely white And when the pupil is done, I'm moving on to the iris. And to shade that correctly takes a lot of layers and a lot of patience. And you can't, you can't rush through it because it really takes away um, the quality of your drawing. So for the first layers of the iris, I am being quite messy, but I am making sure that my strokes are in the right direction. So I'm starting um, next to the pupil and then working my way around and moving outwards. Um, and at the same time, making sure that the shape of the iris stays correct. And I'm just coloring in the iris uh, in one light shade of grey and then blending it out with a soft cloth I found in the kitchen. I think shading the iris takes the most time of the whole drawing itself. Um, I think I spent about one and a half hours on the iris. So make sure to take your time for that. And it is good to use good quality paper. Um, for this one I'm using Canson Bristol, which is really thick and really smooth. Um, you also can use paper with a bit more texture, but for this one I like to use smooth paper. But when you use uh, printer paper, for example, um, you really won't be able to, to, to use many layers because printer paper, paper will get damaged very soon and very early in your drawing and you can't use uh, much pressure. So printer paper is not something I would suggest even when you practice. It's best to use um, a better quality paper. And then for the layers after the first layer, um, I'm basically just darkening up areas that are darker in my reference photo and for that I'm using my black colored pencil um, because it can, it can get really dark and you also don't have that um, irritating shine that graphite has. So that's why I'm using my black colored pencil and I still really like it, I use it in every graphite drawing I do. So I get through my black color pencils really fast. I have to 
purchase them. I think each ma each month I have to purchase a few, um, and they aren't they aren't cheap. But I think it's really worth it if you want to get more contrast in your drawings. At the top of the iris there is a very dark shadow cast by the eyelashes, so I'm filling that in. And around um, the iris, the outer circle is, a, is really dark as well. So I'm making sure that it's dark enough, but I'm keeping the outer circle a bit smudged, so there isn't a harsh line between the iris and the eye whites, um, to make it more realistic. And usually the middle line um, has some highlights and towards the pupil it gets darker again. The highlighted areas can be added when you've got a dark enough base layer. So I'm going in with my highlights when I feel like I've darkened up um, the rest of the iris enough. And the highlights can be done with a kneaded eraser or a smaller eraser like I'm using. Um, that is the, the Tombow Mono Zero eraser. And that gives... Um, more brighter highlights and more detailed highlights and the kneaded eraser gives a bit of yeah, more smudgy um, highlights and not as bright as the Tombo Mono Zero eraser can do. And then I'm basically just adding many many details until I feel like um, I've reached the detail I want in this drawing and until I feel like um, the iris is dark enough But it really takes many layers and a great eye for detail as well. Um, because you have to look at your reference photo and you have to copy what you see. So if you are not able to, to um, observe the details that are in your reference photo, you won't be able to draw them either. So the first thing you've got to, to master is um, to be able to look.
When I'm happy with how the iris and the pupil look, I'm moving on to the rest of the eyeball. And um, it's really important to not leave the eye whites completely white because there are always shadows, um, especially in the corners. So I'm doing a lot of blending here. I am making sure to not leave um, harsh lines or stripes in the eyeball so I'm using my cloth uh, and my blending stump to make sure everything is really smooth and then I'm also drawing in the top eyelid um, and darkening uh, the skin around the eye And because she is looking up, you won't be able to see much of the eyelids, um, especially not the inner uh, bottom eyelid. There's always some space between the bottom eyelashes and the eyeball itself. But because she's looking up, The eyelashes will be covering the eyeball, but I will get to that um, when I finish the skin. Also the crease, um, the top eyelid, the crease, is going to be really dark, but I'm building that up in layers as well to get enough, uh, enough depth in there. Eventually it's going to be really dark and I'm going to be using my black color pencil to darken up the crease. And also, um, when I get the skin dark enough, I can also see where the whites of the eyeball has, uh, have to be darker. So I'm just going back and forth and moving around and um, just adding details where I see them on my reference photo. And I'm doing a lot of blending. And then it's time for the most difficult part, or at least for me, um, which are the eyelashes. And I'm always having trouble with the eyelashes to get them um, in the right shape and the right length, length. But in this drawing I really paid attention to, to the eyelashes and I really took my time for it. Which made them turn out quite alright. On the reference photo she is wearing quite a lot of mascara um, but I decided to not make that um, really obvious so I chose to make the eyelashes a bit thinner and a bit less clumpy but I did make sure to make them um, long enough 
and also they are never going um, all in the exact same direction so I'm making sure they are a bit crossed over and they differ in length as well so I'm making some lashes stick together and variate in the curves of each uh, eyelash which gives it a really natural finish And when I get to the space um, above the iris, I'm leaving a little space open between the iris and the lashes because the lashes aren't growing out of the eyeball, they are growing out of the eyelid, so that's why I'm keeping a little space open. And then I drew in some veins in the eyeball as well. And when I was happy with um, the top eyelashes, I moved on to the bottom eyelashes, which are covering um, the eyeball a little bit just because of the angle and here I'm making some lashes st stick together as well and variate in length and in direction and then I added some bright highlights to the eye with my um, Sakura Jelly Roll pen which is a pen with white ink and it works very well um, over dark areas so with that um, I added some bright little highlights at the top of the iris I am not paying that much attention to the details in the skin for this drawing I just wanted to make the eye itself look realistic so I didn't spend too much time on the skin and after adding the final details the drawing was finished I hope you liked it I hope you've learned something to be honest I'm not really experienced um, with drawing humans or human eyes I've always been into drawing animals but never really took time to practice humans but I hope you liked it anyway um, I myself have a lot to learn as well so I don't know if this tutorial was that much of a tutorial but I hope you liked it um, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will be linking the sped up version of this drawing below if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, yeah, then I'll see you in the next video.